I'm going to show you how to duplicate runes in Elden Ring and any item you want, actually. This is going to be the easiest on PC, but apparently it might be possible on consoles too. I don't know each console and what systems they have and how it works. Uh, some of them sounded dangerous to use, but it was possible. But the bottom line is, if you can find a way to dupe and if you have a good SSD and stuff so you can restart your game fast enough, you can easily get half a billion runes per hour with a B. 500 million runes per hour using this rune duplication glitch. So what you'll need to do in order to be able to do this is you need to find a way to back up your save files. Now, I don't know what the options are on console. I did read something about something scary to do, but it was something about deleting your save file and loading it back from the cloud. I don't know if I'd risk doing that. And also, before I even get deeper into this, I want to say all of this is use at your own risk. Uh, use at your own risk of accidentally messing up your save file while you're trying to back it up or something. Use at your own risk as far as getting banned from online play or something. I don't think you get banned unless you get reported or something. But, uh, yeah, I think it should, I don't know. I just let you guys make your own judgments on that stuff, okay? So be warned on any of that. Use your own judgment on what you think is what you want to do. I'm just going to show you how to do it, though. So it's pretty ridiculous. So in order to do what I'm doing here, and you know, this is obviously a slow way to pop these. You, you go sell these or use them all at once. I'm just doing this for the memes. Uh, but right now I have, now I have 71 Lord's Runes, 600 stored. 99 heroes runes, 539 stored, and so on. You'll see I have hundreds of runes that I could use now. So what you're going to need in order to do this, unfortunately, you will need one friend to play with. Uh, if you don't have one, you, you could try joining my Discord server. I'll make a channel under Elden Ring for like looking for group or something, but good luck with my Discord server. There's not a lot of people who join and play Elden Ring, unfortunately, but you, you could try if you want. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, you'll need a friend to, to dupe with, basically. Then what you're going to need to do and you can find a way to back up your save files. You can look up guides, you can look up whatever. I can only explain for PC because I don't have this on console. If there's a way to do it on console, which there should be some scary ways to do it at a minimum, uh, but you'll have to figure it out on your own for consoles, unfortunately. But for PC, you're going to go to a place on your computer called App Data. So you'll go, if you're on Windows 10, you'll search at the bottom left the search bar and you'll type in parent or not parentheses, you'll type in uh, percent sign, app data, percent sign, all one word, hit enter. That should take you to your like local or roaming whatever area of your computer it's uh, it's like part of a user it's like user something a local roaming whatever and when it takes you there you'll want to make sure that you are in app data and then underneath app data roaming okay that's what you're looking for roaming it's underneath app data it should throw you into app data go to roaming or maybe you'll throw in roaming i'm not sure once you are in app data slash roaming so basically roaming the folder then it'll have a bunch of stuff for all the different games you have on your computer. And you're going to scroll through that until you find one that's just called Elden Ring. And once you go to that Elden Ring folder under roaming, under app data, it will have three things in it. It'll have a folder that just has a bunch of numbers, something called graphics config, and something called Steam Auto Cloud. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take that folder that has all those numbers, and then you are going to copy that and go put it somewhere else on your computer. I made another folder somewhere else on my computer that I had named Elden Ring Backups. And then I made another folder named like one and two, or I gave it like a timestamp, whatever, okay? You're gonna have to start managing backups. I made one called Dupe. And then I just, inside the Dupe one, I put a one and a two and a three folder so I could keep track of what was in what order and what one I had done first. And so then once you know how to do all that, once you've got that under control, then what you're gonna do is you're going to have to get a hold of one of these runes that you want to dupe. In my case, it wasn't a problem because I just am a hoarder and had all these runes. But you could always, if you're doing this with a friend anyway, you could always just, like, use another character and then go to Mogwin Palace and go grab a Lord's Rune and a Hero's Rune 5 that's out in the ground around there. Or, like, do something to get a hold of these bigger runes and then don't pop them. All you need is one to get started for each of these ones that you want to dupe. If you want the full 500 million an hour, then you're going to want Lord's Runes and all the Heroes Runes. I didn't even have Hero Rune 2 when I did this, and it was 500 million an hour. If you had Heroes Rune 2, you'd get 550 million, or 550 million an hour, or something like that, probably. So you need one of each, uh, ideally, to get the maximum. And you could even do the Golden Runes, too. It, it, it will, you know, it'll actually go faster. If you did all these Golden Runes up to, like, 7 and above, you maybe you'd get, like, 750 million an hour, okay? But just doing these, you'll get 500 million an hour. Now, once you have one of each, what you are going to do 
and this is gonna be a little complicated, so you have to really focus on this because it's kind of some people just be super straightforward, some people just gonna feel really confusing. Uh, but anyway, you're going to have your friend invade you. You're gonna summon your friend. So you're going to go to an area, and you are going to you go to multiplayer. You're going to use your furl calling finger remedy in an area where your friend has used the duelist furled finger. If you need to know where to get these, uh, I'll try to remember to put a co-op guide in the description of this video below the first paragraph that will show you where to get all these items and stuff. Anyway, Duelist Fur Furled Finger, which I think you can actually get um, right up here on the map, right where I'm looking where the cross areas, if you need it. And then once you summon your friend, you're also, in order to summon your friend, you might want to put a password. Like my right now on the right, you'll see I have uh, Poop Lol as my multiplayer password. Just make it so you and your friend have the same password. It's all, you make it all lowercase, make it whatever, it's case sensitive. Make it the same so you can only see your friend. And then your friend will put down a Duelist Furled Finger, and you use a Furl Calling Finger Remedy in the area. It'll pop up the summon, you summon your friend. Now you're gonna duel, right? But you're not gonna duel. What you're gonna do is you are going to drop your runes on the ground to give to your friend to get started. After you've made a backup. So you already have a backup. You've made a backup. Give your runes to your friend. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to get out of the duel because you don't want to exit the game during a duel. You'll get banned automatically by doing that too much. So you go ahead and kill your friend's character or just, you know, cut the thing short or whatever. And then, once you're out of the duel, you're going to close your game. Easiest way to, is open task manager and end task. That's the fast way to do it. Otherwise, all the four takes a little while. It drags on for a little while before it closes. And then, what you're going to do is you are going to go back to that Elden Ring folder I talked about. That was under app data roaming. You're going to take that copied one you made with all the numbers. Now, you're going to drag that into the Elden Ring folder. And it'll say, do you want to replace the current folder that's already here? And you'll say, yeah, go ahead and replace it. So, once you do that... You're going to open up the game again, and now you have your old save that still has those runes. And then you're going to call your friend again through the same process. You'll put down a sign, you use a furl calling finger remedy, and then summon your friend. But this time you're going to do something a little different. So he has a rune now, and you have a rune. You're going to have him or her drop their runes on the ground, and you are going to pick them up. Now you've got two of every rune. Now you're going to kill your friend's character to get out of the duel or whatever. And now you're going to go over to a grace and sit down and get back up. And doing that will save your game. Then what you're going to do is you're going to minimize the game and you're going to go make another copy of your folder. Now, if, if you're on console and you find a way to back up, you're going to have to think up a different kind of process here. You can still do it. It's going to be like another step basically to get it done. But on PC, while the game's open now, go ahead and go back to that Elden Ring folder. And you're going to refresh it. And then you're going to copy that folder with all those numbers, and you're going to put it... You're going to go copy that and paste it with all your other dupe ones in some way that you can keep track of which ones you duped in what order. So now you have another dupe. Backup. And in this dupe backup, you have two of all these runes now. So now you go over and summon your friend again, and you give back the runes. Then, what you get out of the duel by, by beating his character or whatever, cutting it short with the finger cutter thing. And then, you are going to end task on your game. And now you're going to go put in that new duped folder that has two of every rune, where you had two of every rune. You're going to put that back in the Elden Ring folder and override the old one. Then you load your game back up, and now it has the save file where you had two of every rune. But you just gave your friend two of every rune. So now he has two, you have two. So then what you're going to do, in th at this point what you're going to start doing, is you're going to have him or her give you his runes. Now you've got four. Then you're going to go, you're going to end that duel. You're going to go sit down at the grace to save it. You're going to make another backup. Then you're going to give those runes to your friend. Now your friend has four runes. Then you're going to get out of the duel. You're going to close the game. You're going to override your your, your, set, your backup with the one you just made. You're saving the backup you just made. Now you've got, you go back in. You've got four runes again. Your friend's got four runes. Do it again. Now you've got eight runes. Your friend's got eight runes. Do it again. You've got 16. That person's got 16. You're just going to keep doing and doing and doing that. For like, I think it only takes, what, like six cycles to go from one to a hundred or something? or Because it's exponential. It's actually going to look like this. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. 16 times two is 32. Then 64. Then 128. And then you're basically done. But basically, you can only carry 99 at a time. You can store 600. You can carry 99 at a time. So your only goal here is to get one person up to 99. Once you've got 99, you're going to give them all to the duping character, whoever's duping. Then what you're going to do is that person's going to go sit down at the grace, stand back up, and then tab out, make a new copy of the backup. Now you have a backed up file that has 99 of everything. Now you're set. 
Now what you can do is you can give your friend 99 of the runes, and then you can end the duel, close the game, back up your save, come back in. You've got 99, he's got 99. Give him 99. Do it again, give him 99. Do it again, give him 99. All the way till he's full. The other guy, your friend is full. Uh, and then at that point, you can have him, you know, just give you 99 and the duel. Give you 99 and the duel. And you can do that till you can give him back and back and forth, however you want to do it. The fastest way would be giving those 99 to your friend and then having him pop them while you restart your game. And then whatever, if you did it like that, you'd be getting, you know, 500 million an hour plus. And then, uh, although it does take two people, so, you know, but still 500 million for the one person minimum doing that. And then you'll just do this until you're done, until you're satisfied with how many runes you have or whichever way you want to do it. You just keep going like that until you're done. You can also dupe other items. Like, while we were doing it, just to test, we duped um, Arteria leaves and all that. Here, let me show you, actually. I I duped, let's see. Uh, I have 423 silver fireflies, 262 golden centipedes, 999 Aeonian butterflies, 169 Nascent butterflies, 545 Roa fruit, 999 Arteria leaves, 999 Trina's lilies, 999 Miquela's lilies. I mean, you can dupe anything you want. We also, just for the heck of it, just for testing, we dupe some uh, greases. These are good ones if you want to do those. You know, it's whatever you feel like doing. I mean, it's your game, it's your save, it's how you want to cheat. Cheating is up to you which way you want to do it. But yeah, then once you're done with that, I mean, depending which way you're doing it, if you ended up doing it where you just have a bunch, you can just go to a merchant, uh, whichever merchant that you want to go to, in order to get rid of them. And honestly, the fastest way is to sell them to a merchant. Also, I should probably tell you, I should have said a second ago while I was on the topic, uh, when you use all of them, they don't auto refresh. So when you're giving them to your, fr when your friend's giving them back to you, or when you're using them like this, you're actually gonna have to sit down and open your storage, which you might not have never even done in this game. You're gonna sort chest, then you're gonna press. Uh, there's a button at the bottom that'll say switch to chest. And, and on Xbox controller, it's Y. PlayStation is probably triangle. I don't know what it is on PC. It'll tell you at the bottom. And then you're gonna go in, and then you have to move them back over because it doesn't auto do it. Like other things like the greases and the crafting mats automatically give you back items from your storage whenever you rested a grace. Not these runes though. So you will have to manually do that. So keep that in mind. And then when you have them, if you want to just do it fast, if you have a bunch to got get rid of, you'll just sell each one and then you will, whoops. Oh, I just fumbled everything. Okay. You'll sell each one and then just do it like this. And then you'll go back and sit down and then go get more. But now I have 18 million runes, and I still have uh, six times that to go get right now. And if I was sitting here duping with a friend and just giving him a duping and giving him duping, uh, easily 500 million for each for one person at a time. So 250 million total per person if you divide it by two, but 500 million runes are being duplicated per hour by doing this in total. And again, if you did all of them, if you did all the way up to like gold runes 7, it'd probably be 750,000 runes an hour or something like that. Something more like that. And if you had the other, I didn't even have the hero's rune too. That would have been 550 million an hour probably or more. Uh, so you get the point. It's pretty insane. So if you're into this type of cheating, I mean, this is like hardcore cheating, guys. So use at your own risk. Uh, obviously, if you have morals or principles that go against doing something like this, that you'd have no, you know, you don't have to do it at all, of course. But I just wanted to make sure you were aware of this option. I know a lot of you out there really enjoy this type of thing and think that this would be something you want to do. And if so, then feel free to do it at your own risk. Make your own decisions on what you think makes sense for you to do and what risks you're willing to take as far as your online status, you know, getting banned and all those types of issues or accidentally deleting a save somehow. God forbid, that would be awful. So again, use it at your own risk. But if you do this, you can get unlimited rare items and you can get at least 500 million runes an hour, but I really think you go as high as 750 million runes per hour, uh, but it takes two people, so, you know, but still, 500 million runes per hour with this item duplication exploit. Totally busted, amazing way to just cheat and get runes in Elden Ring.